Hi. Hello. Um, I'm Felicia. And I'm um, John Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our review of The Dragon Inn Part 2. And the expansion, Erin the Ever Changing. Why does she get her own freaking box? The fuck is she? <laughs> <laughs> In Red Dragon Inn 2, the players take on the roles of fantasy adventurers staying at an inn for a good old time of drinking and gambling. In the box you'll find four unique character decks, Dimly, Eve, Fleck, and Gog, four player mats, four red fortitude marker tokens, four clear alcohol content marker tokens, gold pieces, and the rulebook. Be the last of the unsung heroes to not pass out from over drinking or losing their gold to a gambling game, and you win. Here's how to set up. Give each player a player board. Place the Fortitude red token on 20. Place the Clear Alcohol Content token on 0. Each player gets 10 gold, more or less depending on how many players you are. Shuffle the drink deck and place it in the middle of the table. Each player takes one card from it and places it face down on their Drink Me section of their player board. Each player chooses a character they want to play. Shuffles the deck, draws 7 and places their deck on their player board. Determine who the first player is and you're not ready for the debauchery. Each player turn consists of four phases always done in this order. Discard and draw, action, buy drinks, and finally drink. Discard and draw lets you do exactly that. Discard any cards you don't want and draw back up to seven. Action phase is where you play your action cards. Usually these affect another player's alcohol content or fortitude or start a round of gambling. Everybody antes up and tries to control the gambling round until all the other players pass and he wins their gold. If at any time a player is left with no gold, the wench kicks them out. Also, if ever your fortitude and alcohol tolerance touch, well, you just passed out and you're the laughing stock of your traveling companions. They buy a drink action lets you grab a card from the top of the drink deck and give it to another player. I mean, really, they should drink more. They're more fun when they drink. Who knows, maybe you'll give them a drink with a chaser, forcing them to drink their way to drunkenness. But before you find that out, it's your turn to drink first, which brings us to the last phase, drink. Flip over the first card of your Drink Me deck on your player board and follow the instructions. Then play proceeds clockwise. If ever you can't draw from the drink deck, everybody has to pay one gold to the end to buy another round of drinks. Simply shuffle the discard pile and make a new drink deck. Be the last one standing and earn your heroic reputation as, well, someone who can, you know, hold their liquor. Red Dragon Inn made us laugh quite many a time. And really, if you have a good time playing a game, more than half of the objective is done in our opinion. The other half is execution and gameplay. And Red Dragon Inn series delivers in that department as well. Sure, there was some card effect that was unclear, but with a little discussing you figure stuff out. The artwork is fine, boards were actually nice and sturdy, and so were the cards and tokens. We liked the different characters and their unique abilities on how they deal with drinks and fortitude loss. We played the game many times and yes, some characters are stronger than others. But we all wanted to play the different characters and see how they played out. When finishing a game, we went straight for another. So the replay value is there. Of course, as many of you already have thought about or done, we wanted to play the game with real beer shooters. But we haven't gotten around to that yet, but we will, that's certain. And the best part? Get another Dragon Inn game to make it a real party and play with lots of people. We give Red Dragon Inn the party game 8 out of 10 drinks. She, she slept with everybody, right? She slept with the ogre. She's the ever-changing. Yeah, she slept with the ogre. She slept with the viking. Gog, dimly. She slept with... Um, Fleck, the bard. The Robert bard, he's Downey a party Jr. animal. Robert Downey Jr., yeah. Also. And she slept with the two chicks. At the same time? Yeah. She is the whore who gets her own little box. I know a few of those Comes in up. my circle of friends. Can I meet them? <laughs>